you ever decide it's your hair wash day and then you realize you just don't have enough time to dry your hair because that happened to me, but somehow we succeeded, okay? Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another New York City week in my life. That'll never get old saying. I'm Danielle, if you guys are new here, I just moved here about a month and a half ago, taking you guys along my life. Subscribe if you guys are new here. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm in a lovely mood because I am headed to lunch at Il Buco. Um, I'm really excited to check it out with Kyle Kavan Jewelry, and she's gonna be showing their new collegiate collection of UGA. They have a ton of collegiate jewelry lines, but they're just now adding UGA from what I believe. And from the photos I'm seeing, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like this really pretty gold arch. It's one of our monuments. I'm just so excited to go to lunch with them because this weekend I'm going back to college. I'm going back to Athens with Kyle Kavan for homecoming weekend, game day, Ryan's coming too, a ton of my friends are going this weekend, and I'm gonna be rocking Kyle Kavan jewelry all weekend. So I'm so excited, needless to say, and I'm excited to meet them, so that's what we're doing. I'm kind of in a rush, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I wore a very similar outfit to this the other day, but I'm just here for it. This dress, I'll link it down below, I've already worn it once, it's just so versatile, so great, I love the little ruche, it's from Revolve, really good quality. Wearing these boots from Steve Madden, I'll link them below. I already know I'm gonna be wearing them a lot this fall. And then my little green Balenciaga bag. My hair is like half dry, half wet. Um, and then just same jewelry, but I think I'm gonna leave with some Kyle Kavan jewelry. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Anyways, let's go to lunch. Um, we've got a big gals on the go day after, so let's do it. Just finished the meeting. I got some good jewelry. I can't wait to show you guys later. Now headed to Brooke at the Galson Go office. Seltzer on tap, baby. Love that. In a little phone booth to take our call. We're talking to Sierra. She was my interior designer for my apartment, and we're at the office right now. I'm here with Brooke. We've been catching up and gave her the key for the for the office. Yeah, it's so nice. It's so nice. And we're gonna talk to her about decorating our office. So excited. Yeah. Trying Kava for the first time with I'm, Brooke. I took her, I said she needed to try. I'm so excited. I think you're gonna like it, but I don't wanna hype up too much. Got my Kava, a little pita on the side. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Here we go. Trying kava for the first time. I got saffron rice, chicken, tomatoes, and corn. We'll see how it goes. And then also comes with pita, and I'm gonna try the dressing. I don't really know what this is. We'll see how it goes. So I have to show you guys these new pieces I got from Kyle Cabin today. The lunch was so amazing. It was so cool to get to meet them. They have so many different lines for a ton of different colleges and sororities and everything. So it was just so much fun hanging out with them today. And we ate at this restaurant called Il Buco Alimentari. I didn't film there because we were just literally talking the whole time. But anyways, you guys, at one point, Gigi Hadid walks in with her baby and like family members, I think. I freaked out. They like had the whole back half of the restaurant basically reserved for them. And it was a small, I mean, it was like six people but the whole back half of the restaurant was blocked off for them. And she just like walked in. It was a Monday afternoon lunch with the fam. And it was like so looking and all of us were just like talking. We're all like, oh my gosh, that's a little GGD. Cause I saw the red hair and I was like, is that? And I was like, yes it is. It was so chill. It was like the perfect restaurant for her to go to, but I freaked out, I can't lie. I mean, Gigi Hadid, I didn't tell you guys this cause I had just ended my vlog. Um, last Friday I went to Soho to, um, what was I doing there? I think I just walked around Soho. Oh, I wa worked at Dr. Smood. Anyways, I'm walking in Soho. All of a sudden, I make eye contact with Alex Cooper. And I was like, is that Alex? Like, she lives in LA. And I was like, oh no, that's a thousand percent her because she has the same green Balenciaga bag as me. And she was walking in this like pink and yellow dress that she ended up posting a picture in that night. Freaked out. But I like, I should have, I totally should have said hi. But we were like walking and like she was clearly in the rush to go somewhere. That was really cool too. And right now, I am getting ready for Brooke to come over. We decided to take a little break before we recorded the podcast. 
this week we're doing an episode all about how to recharge after like a long weekend of socializing or after a networking event, anything of the sorts, like the things we do to charge our social battery. So I thought that would be quite fitting. The vibes in my apartment right now are unmatched, like cozy vibes. Just unboxed some new pieces. I found this website, well I, <laughs> my friend Elizabeth from Stylist Check found this website called Style Addict. Really cute stuff. She picked out these pieces for me and I'm obsessed. Um, so this, it's actually like a dark, dark navy blue little blazer skirt set. So perfect for fall with those tall boots I wore today, yes. This is this beautiful piece for layering. It's a turtleneck, it's mesh. I'll wear like a bralette underneath. And this I actually picked out myself because you guys know I'm obsessed with these romper unitards right now. And this is just a black long sleeve one that I thought would be perfect. Opting to like stop drinking at points because like now I'm good for the night. I said, like, what's wrong with me? But that's a responsibility, I think. Brooke just left. We recorded a good episode, you guys. I put it on my Instagram story or my Instagram reels and TikToks. I got the most insane package from Fireball which is just so glad you guys know my love for Fireball. I just got another package today from them. It's a shot ski. And they sent shot glasses to go in. So now I'm totally gonna pull this out at a party trick when I have a pregame here. Like, hey guys, everyone, Fireball shots. Grab this out of my closet, let's go. Like everyone holds it at the same time. And just for reference, you guys, they literally sent this like Fireball dispenser. They didn't send any Fireball though. I think it's like legally they can't ship alcohol. I'm not really sure. Fireball costumes, comment down below if Ryan and I should do this matching one night, literally male and woman. A onesie, a Christmas sweater, a Fireball Christmas sweater, so cute. I gave some stuff to Ryan and his friends. Fireball football, I mean, you name it, I have it. Mug, sunglasses, bandana. But anyways, you should follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't, because you would have seen these already, but I just had to show the vlog fam too. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna submit the podcast to our producer. And I have football right on right now, who is she? But there's something about having, I muted it for the vlog, but having football on is really therapeutic for me. It makes me feel like I'm at home. Like the sounds of like whistles and stuff, like here, I don't, I don't know, this might be like very niche to my family, but I don't know, this just sounds like my dad's in the living room watching TV and I don't know, it's just comforting and I know Monday night football is a thing, so I just put it on sometimes. You guys know the drill, sleepy time tea. Good morning everybody, it's Tuesday morning. We're starting the day off on the right foot. We're headed to coffee with all my Lower East Side girlies. Um, me, Brooke, Margo, and Katie are meeting for coffee because we all like see each other out or at events, but we haven't had time to just hang out like during the day. Um, so we're going to get coffee. We're going to this place called Sunday to Sunday. But I'm really, really excited and I decided to dress up because why not? It's a gloomy day outside. I'm just wearing this blazer from Lioness. I got off of Urban Outfitters though, I'll link it below. Tank top is from Revolve. Jeans are Revolve. And then my platform Converse and my stod bag. Let's go get some coffee. I didn't have coffee this morning because I knew we were getting coffee. So now I'm like eh, tired. Here we are. This is the prettiest little place. Workout queen! Nice. Hello. Hello! So, coffee was amazing. We sat and talked for like an hour and a half, two hours. All walked back together, it was cute. We all like live semi near each other, so that's pretty nice to be neighbors with your besties. Also, how are we liking the new camera quality? I feel like it's a lot better than my last one. I'm sitting responding to some emails right now. I think I wanna film a QA and a today for my, for my YouTube channel that you guys are watching this on right now. Um, and Brian asked if I wanted to grab lunch. I'm telling you guys, I've never eaten out more in my life than living in New York City, and I feel guilty and weird about it, but also I, don't really spend money on groceries recently, just the essentials. I had breakfast at home, I just literally had coffee with them. But it's such a social thing here. And like for Ryan and I, he's been working all day and he's actually going early to Georgia tomorrow. He's gonna work from home in Georgia because he wants to go an extra day early. Before we go to Athens, he's gonna go to like his family's house. Um, and I'm just gonna go a day later because I, like he'll be working all day. Like I don't wanna just like be bothering him. So we won't really see each other for a couple days and I mean, it's not that dramatic, but he was like, do you wanna get lunch? And I was like, sure. Yeah, I'm in this weird mood. Today is one of those days I only had a morning thing and a night thing and then nothing in the middle, which is kind of cool. So I'm like, how can I 
harness in on this time um so i'm trying to like clean a little bit do some laundry i'm just really looking forward to going to georgia this weekend i'm really really excited to, get to see some of my friends so i'm excited yummy spot hello hello little corner spot we love that yum okay guys it's a lot later and i've honestly just taken today to create a lot of content which has been so much fun and i haven't had a day where i just do stuff like this which has been really really fun so right now i'm trying to pick out my outfit for game day this weekend so i'm kind of i think i'm gonna do like an instagram reel slash a tiktok of like help me pick out my outfit and putting outfits together because also in the last hour i just made a tiktok and i posted it on reels as well like my some outfits i'll be wearing for fall so i just literally put together four fall outfits right now posted it and the response is so good and i'm so excited i think i found a good spot i'm gonna film them right here because the lighting is just so good and i'm just feeling so inspired and creative all of a sudden i was feeling blah earlier but i literally just turned the camera on started putting some outfits together so i think i'm gonna start doing this more on my social media because it's so fun and i used to film like fashion videos all the time on youtube but honestly i think fashion content is gonna be better for short form like instagram reels and tiktok so um this is the first outfit i'm thinking about for this weekend i really like this the top is from tiger mist skirts princess polly boots are rebecca minkoff bag is by far but actually i need to use a clear bag because i'm going into the game um and then i'm wearing my all of my kyle cabin necklaces which are so cute i'm obsessed but anyways i'm gonna keep trying on outfits uh for game day this weekend but go follow me on instagram and tiktok and go check out those reels um, of me picking out my outfit. Hello, this is my fifth outfit of the day. <laughs> Wearing my fireball shirt. Do you guys like it? Because I do, it's really comfy. I'm also I'm also wearing some of my UGA jewels from Kyle Cabin. Obsessed. I will link below if you guys want. I texted Ryan asking if he has dinner plans, which I mean I know he doesn't have dinner plans, but like if he has something to make because I would hop on that because I don't have groceries. Cause I'm in this perpetual like, oh, I won't buy groceries because this weekend I'm, I know I'm gonna be eating out or this weekend I'm traveling. So that's where we're at right now. My apartment's like really clean though. I'm just waiting on my damn couch. They keep pushing it back, you guys. I was supposed to find out. Between October 1st and October 10th, Crate and Barrel was supposed to call me and say, hey, we're scheduling your delivery. Then they said, it's actually delayed. Now you'll find out between October 12th, which is today and the 22nd. So, I'm just not expecting this call anytime soon. I've had a lot of people tell me Crate and Barrel and CB2 are known for this, but my dining table and chairs are from Crate and Barrel and my like accent chairs from CB2 and they, they all came on time. So, and my bed's from CB2 actually. So I got lucky there. Man, the couch, it's crazy how much a couch really can change a space. And like sometimes I don't wanna lay in my bed, but I wanna sit on my couch. All, I know like, really lame problems but i didn't realize like how much i wanted a couch so when the couch comes i'd be really excited and it's just gonna like look complete in here like once the couch comes we're, we're done while well, i'm waiting on the thing for above my bed because i sent the wrong color but anyways that's just the life update you guys said you like when i just kind of like sit and talk so that's that's what we're doing i'm not really going anywhere today i just did a little body shower i uber eats ryan and i ramen um i literally Showered with makeup on still that's like the weirdest feeling ever i look hilarious right now i'm gonna go bring it over to him because he's still working and he's leaving for george tomorrow early early morning like literally at 4 a.m so so that he can get home and work from home in georgia so i just want to like make it as easy as possible for him i wanted to like have a cute like chill night but i think it's not gonna be like that so i'm gonna go over there and bring him the ramen when it comes and hang out there for a little bit and then probably come back or actually he needs his golf clubs and i have them <laughs> but yeah i mean we're gonna be in athens together this weekend i'm so excited for the athens vlog get hyped danielle goes back to her college town anyways this is probably really weird that i'm talking in my towel like this got ramen hello the braids are on also guys look they put the fireball thing out I always do this. I just sat down to like edit, you know, for a couple minutes of the video and I just grind it all out. But now I'm so happy I can upload this and I'll know it's scheduled to upload. And then now I already have tomorrow's video scheduled to upload and Sunday's video scheduled to upload. And this video is filming, which means it'll go up next Wednesday. And we're just set. Like, if you make YouTube videos, you know this feeling and it's incredible. Ooh. 
Okay, we're good. So I've just like been in my computer. In my computer, yep, that's what I've been doing. I've been in my computer. Been on my computer, just like doodling around. Watching YouTube, which I don't actually do a lot, contrary to popular belief perhaps, because I'm always focused on getting my YouTube videos done and editing my YouTube videos. Um, so I don't watch a lot of YouTube each week. I just, it's sad. Anyways, for a while now, um, people have been asking me what my Enneagram number is and I kept saying three and then everyone's like, I just feel like you're more of this or that. So we are going to put that to the test right now. And my mom was asking me too. I just feel like this is like a conversation starter these days. So I need to know. Oh my gosh, there's like a lot of questions. All right. All right, I'm going to take this little test and I'll get back to you guys with the answer. Put in your guesses now. Okay, you guys, I just finished filling everything out. There were seven pages of questions. Um, get my results. Your type is a three. That's what I told people. I knew it. I knew I was a three. Vigorously pursuing tasks and becoming utterly absorbed in the pursuit of attainment, but they will only choose a task in the first place if it promises rewards and bringing prestige. So yeah, it said three, but then two is the second most emphasized number. Like I do like to achieve things, but I wouldn't say that's my goal in life. Two is called the helper. At their best, they're kind, generous, warm-hearted, and loving. People pleasing, that would be me. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Now I can tell my mom and I can answer these questions now when I meet people. Um, I feel like I should wash my face and start getting ready for bed. As you guys can see, I'm getting ready for bed finally. I love turning the red lights on when it's like time to go to bed. It seriously like relaxes me. Apparently the red light helps increase melatonin. I could be so wrong, but I heard that. See you guys in the morning. We have a day full of appointments and fun things. Let's do it. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Okay, you guys, we have a fun little morning. I'm just packing my bag, making sure I have everything. We're going to the face gym. Yes, you heard that right. One of the, um, Pros, look at these sunglasses, Desi I wear, pretty cool. One of the pros living in New York City, there's all kinds of cool services and such here. And I've been wanting to try out the face gym. It's basically, maybe I'll get some videos while I'm there. Um, it's basically like your face gets a workout. So you know how I use the jade roller or people gua sha, whatever it may be. Um, it's like sculpting your face. And then right after that, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. So that's kind of the morning. Doing all the stuff before Athens. Gotta look my best going back to my college town, you know? And my face is just feeling puffy. Probably because of drinking. All right, ginger shot o'clock. I also got my period this morning, so I'm just feeling icky. But we're gonna walk there. It's like a 20 minute walk. Put my AirPods in, listen to some music. AirPods in, world out. <laughs> all right. Cheers to our health. Ah, ugh, ugh. Here's the fit, by the way. This set is from Zara. I just got it, so it's definitely still available. Just comfy cozy. Let's go. All right, here's my face before my workout. Now we're headed to get our brows wax because they are a forest. Brows are done, she filled them in so I'm gonna go home and put on makeup so it looks a little weird right now. Um, and she was a Gals on the Go listener. Now we're gonna go to Starbucks. Okay guys, my brows look so good. I can't wait to put on makeup with the rest of it because I was like, yeah, go ahead, fill them in. About to put on some makeup. Got um, a hot oat milk latte from Starbucks. I'm so hot. I have about 45 minutes to get ready for this event Brooke and I are going to. It's an L boutique as in L magazine. So I'm pretty excited. It's at Hotel Indigo, which is a really cool hotel. There's one in Athens too, actually. Oh, I'm hot. I'm gonna get ready. I forgot that like when you get facials and stuff, sometimes your hair can get a little greasy from that. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. Oh, I put in laundry last night. Oh my God. I need to put that in the dryer. I just need to write all this down because I'm not gonna remember any of this now. Laundry. 
there's something else that I was just telling you guys. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's just laundry. All right, I'm gonna get ready. Okay, I don't know how I pulled this together so fast, but my front pieces were so greasy, but I forgot that's when we do the good old front braid. We love that. And then I curled my hair. I used this dry bar um, curling wand. I absolutely love it. I'll link it below. And I basically curl out and in every other one. So I switch the direction every hair strand towards the back. I just kind of do whatever. Um, but right before I leave, I'm gonna like comb my fingers through my hair. These are my new Desi eyewear sunglasses. I, I really love them. This top is from Princess Polly, just a little white collar top. Pants are from Revolve. I love them. I know they've been sold out for a while, sadly. Shoes are my All Saints sneakers. With my fellow gal on the go. Yay. Our outfits are so different, but the colors go so well together. Oh, is this a new camera? Uh, yes, yeah, this is the new camera. Wow, look at you. I know. Making moves. Making moves. The other one just couldn't autofocus for it. Sounds of the city. Guys, we're the first people I, to the event. I had an encounter too. I didn't realize the event started too. I thought that we like had an appointment. I, this me too, me too. It's okay, it's okay. Now we look like really eager beavers, but they're gonna love it. <laughs> this is so sick. It's the penthouse hotel room here. Oh my gosh. This is incredible. Can't stop cheersing. This is a cordless curling wand, you guys. This has changed the game. L is changing the game. And then this is like one of those things you put your hair in and it goes, it does it for you. The straightener, I mean, I'm just impressed. This is amazing. So sleek, so cute. Hey guys, Brooke's here. And I thought it would be fun to go through this goodie bag because it is so cute, this tote bag. Yeah, very, very cute. Stunning. So we each got to pick one, oh, I forgot I bought kombucha. Um, we each got to pick one of their new hot tools and I picked out this one. It's the cordless curling wand because I already have a cordless flat iron. Oh, uh, we got two little drinking devices here. Oh, look at this cup. The cup is so cute. It's like Dior vibes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, another tote. Can never have enough. Wow. My whole life is totes at this point. I, I have a whole cabin dedicated to them. Little pouch and then the perfume that we got to smell thank you so much l you guys another package that i just really have to show you guys i'm so excited about it. i've been waiting for this for so long you guys know how much i love my art place pan brooke has one i got one for ryan they're just so great they clean so well and when kenzie was here she was like oh you know there's a pot version and i was needing a pot i only have one little small one and so i got the art place pot i am beyond myself excited it'll inspire me to cook more maybe make some chili who knows Yum. so i got the matching color this is called steam um i'll link below this one comes with a little wooden spoon oh my gosh yay this is bigger than i thought but that's good because i needed like a bigger pot and i know it's gonna clean well that is that's it's sexy so that's all i have to say i think this is like for serving brook like Oh. Put it on the, like so it's not hot on your table maybe. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, hello everybody, I made chili. Wait, that's so smart. Ah. Cause, Cause I think the whole design of them is that they go from table to. Farm to table. <laughs> literally though, wow, wow, that's really sweet looking. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Dude, that could Please. literally be an ad for it. Show them, like, that would look like <laughs> an ad. Brooke hyping up my kitchen. It does look like an ad for sure. It's so pretty. That's why I almost got a different color and I was like, I feel like that's no. just rude. You got it. <laughs> it's rude to our place. And this is the always pan. They're always together. <laughs> Brooke just left. I'm doing the dishes now. Very glamorous. Getting the laundry done. Going to a casual dinner with my friends Maddie and Alex. Here's the fit, they're dressed casual too. So, yay, we're going to Ruby's. I've never tried Ruby's before, I'm really excited. The past few hours I've had calls, obviously you guys can see it's dark now and I still haven't packed, but that's okay. Here at Ruby's with Alex and Maddie. Say hi guys, cute. Very fun, my first Ruby's experience and I'm excited. I got the spicy vodka pasta. Okay, we're back from dinner. It was so good, Ruby's is totally worth it. Um, it is actually time to pack. I grabbed my suitcase from my storage unit last night. I have like really chic hard shell ones and of course I still go for this one just cause it's so 
It's just stretchy, it fits things. Yeah, I need a game day outfit, which I posted a TikTok and had you guys help me. Most people said the third outfit, so I might do that one. And then I need to pack like going out outfits. I need to pack PJ. I'm just honestly gonna throw a ton of stuff in. That's why I wanna check a bag so I can have options. I also left laundry going when I left, so I need to take these things out of the dryer and fold them before they get wrinkled. And then take those things and put them in the dryer. You guys know the drill. I have a couple boxes I need to unbox. I got a step stool because I'm not utilizing my top cabinets because I can't reach them, but now I will be able to. I'm gonna put on Gossip Girl. It's just like a show that I can have on and not have to pay attention to the whole time. And honestly, just get to work. I It's 9.30 and I still have impact and I'm leaving tomorrow, so that's good. I am overpacking so hard, it's not even funny, but it's funny. <laughs> um, so I have like three game day options because I truly don't know what to wear. I also just remembered I had this little zebra number, which could be fun for game day. And then I'm just bringing a ton of going out outfits. Nothing crazy, like, you know, very college vibe. I feel like this is fun, it's from Tiger Mist. Some jeans, game day outfit, game day outfit, <laughs> game day outfit, game day outfit. <laughs> okay guys, it's gonna be a game time decision and I need my options, okay? Okay, just another black outfit. I literally don't know. Tomorrow I just need a travel outfit and potentially going out outfit once I get there. I'm, I comfort is having all of this with me. It's Thursday to a Sunday, okay? And multiple outfit changes. Anyways, I'm trying to justify this. I don't need to be, but yeah, <laughs> I'm packing. Finally succumbing to the haters about my dirty Air Force Ones. I forgot that I had Mr. Clean. So, I mean, it really is working. So it like comes with this sponge that I guess has the product in it already. I mean, it looks better. I just like, they're just comfortable and they go with everything. But yeah, they were definitely getting dirty. I needed to clean them. The laces are unfortunately still dirty and I don't have time to wash them for tomorrow. But I mean, they look wider, right? I think I did a pretty darn good job. <laughs> Guys, I'm opening a package for my grandma and she sent me snickerdoodles that she made. I'm literally crying and my little cousin Allison drew this for me. I'm um, FaceTiming Brooke right now. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> and I'm gonna eat. I'm so excited. All right, kiddos. We are all packed for the most part. You guys know the drill. In the morning, I'll add the toiletries and everything. Oh, and I need to add hair tools but I've got my packing cubes, three purses, because one of them is a clear purse to get into the stadium, my makeup bag, shoes, I haven't decided if I'm bringing all four, um, but I'm definitely bringing my black boots, my cowboy boots, these, I'm just trying to decide if I'm gonna bring my Converse as well, and then this is my outfit for tomorrow, it's basically what I was wearing tonight, but um, a different tank top. And this is the ruby jacket from Free People. It's so comfortable. I've got all of my electronics charging. Um, this is my carry-on bag. I finally organized it into little pouches. There was so much in here. I can't even begin to tell you guys. Cleaned it all out. Um, so that feels really, really good. These game day ticket, uh, stickers from Kyle Cabin. I can't wait to wear those on game day. I would vlog tomorrow, but it's just gonna be me waking up and getting ready to go to the airport. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun making this one. I feel like this was a really, I don't know. I feel like I, I like the content in this week in my life. So I hope you all enjoyed. I love you all so much. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.